Hello everybody, welcome to Happy Study Club. Today we're gonna be talking about agriculture revolution in India, which is an important topic for NABAD exam. Last year uh, in NABAD exam, one to two, at least one to two question has been asked from agriculture revolutions in India. So it becomes very important for you to know about agriculture revolutions in India. There are different uh, ex uh, different revolution in India, which was introduce so first one is green revolution green revolution uh, plan green revolution plan was introduced in the early 1960 to improve agriculture in india so green revolution was introduced to improve agriculture in india so it was started in india to increase food grain production it was started in india to increase food grain production that is to increase wheat production in india so this uh, to uh, so this increase uh, to achieve increase in wheat production uh, so uh, various uh, modern techniques has been ad adopted uh, such as uh, uh, high yielding variety seeds high yielding uh, variety seeds or uh, modern techniques for irrigation uh, such as tractors pumps were used different different modern techniques uh, has has been adopted as a green uh, uh, for green revolution for to increase wheat production in india and also in uh, there was an increase in uh, the increase there was an increase use in the fertilizer fertilizer during the uh, period when green revolution has been started so these becomes the important points so uh, and Dr. Norman E. Borlaug the, is the father of Green Revolution. Before Green Revolution took place in India, the father of Green Revolution was Dr. Norman Norman E. Borlaug. It he uh, okay. So now Dr. M. S. Swaminathan. He was the great geneticist, uh, and he is known as the father of Green Revolution in India. Uh, okay, don't be, don't get confused between Norman E. Borlaug and M. S. Swaminathan. M. S. Swaminathan is the father of Green Revolution in India, and before Green Revolution takes place in India, um, the father of Green Revolution was Dr. Norman E. Borlaug. So two names are associated with two two very important names are associated with Green Revolution. That is Dom Norman E. Borlaug father of the green revolution and dr m s swaminathan uh, known as the father of green revolution in india okay so next is yellow revolution yellow revolution is the uh, uh, revolution which was introduced to for uh, wild seed production in india that is based uh, specifically for mustard and sunflower oil okay and the father of yellow revolution is sam petroda and it was introduced in 1987 next up is white revolution white revolution is very important revolution in india it was introduced for milk production in india and it is uh, also known as operation flood which was in uh, started in 1966 and uh, white revolution was introduced in na in the year 1970 national development de uh, dairy development program is the world's largest dairy development program and uh, it surpassed uh, india surpassed us in 1988 in milk production due to vargis curies white re revolution india surpassed US in milk production in in the year 1988 and Vagis Curin is the father of white revolution Vagis Curin sir is very important person and he is a very great person and he is the known as the father of white revolution also he 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 was also he was the founder of uh, Amul we all know Amul is a very famous con uh, famous company in Asia for milk production okay, now next up is uh, blue revolution blue revolution uh, is for fish production fish and father of uh, blue revolution is dr. Arun Krishnan and it was introduced in 1970 golden revolution golden revolution is uh, associated with honey and horticulture production 
हनी एंड हॉर्टिकल्चर प्रोडक्ट है हॉर्टिकल्चर मीन्स हॉर्टिकल्चर इज़ रिलेटेड टू ऑल द वेजिटेबल्स एंड फ्रूट्स प्रोडक्शन हॉर्टिकल्चर प्रोडक्शन मीन्स वेजिटेबल एंड फ्रूट्स प्रोडक्शन ओके सो गोल्डन रेवोल्यूशन इज़ रिलेटेड टू हनी एंड हॉर्टिकल्चर प्रोडक्शन एंड द पीरियड वेन गोल्डन रेवोल्यूशन वाज स्टार्टेज इज नाइनटीन टू टू नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट इज सिल्वर रेवोल्यूशन सिल्वर रेवोल्यूशन इज एसोसिएटेड विद एग प्रोडक्शन एंड पोल्ट्री and the father of silver revolution is known as uh, indira gandhi is known as the father of silver revolution gray revolution is for manures and fertilizer gray revolution is for manu- manures and fertilizers next is brown revolution brown revolution uh, was started for non conventional energy source uh, for non conventional energy source लेदर एंड कोकोआ प्रोडक्शन ब्लैक रेवोल्यूशन ब्लैक रेवोल्यूशन इज फॉर पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्शन और बायोफिल प्रोडक्शन नेक्स्ट इज रेड रेवोल्यूशन इज फॉर मीट एंड टोमेटो प्रोडक्शन ऑनियन रेवोल्यूशन इज फॉर ऑनियन प्रोडक्शन फार्मास्यूटिकल्स एंड प्रॉन प्रोडक्शन एंड नाउ नेक्स्ट इज रेनबो रेवोल्यूशन रेनबो रेवोल्यूशन इज फॉर द ओवरऑल ओवरऑल रेवोल्यूशन ऑल द रेवोल्यूशन टूगेदर इंटीग्रेटेड इज नोन एज Rainbow Revolution is uh, associated. Uh, it is associated with agriculture. Okay, so now it is the overall uh, revolution of agriculture. Uh, all uh, uh, together, together we uh, if we take uh, green revolution, blue revolution, all which have which just we have learned about like pink revolution, red revolution, black, brown, grey. All this revo- revolution taken together. in agriculture is known as rainbow Re- revolution okay crop cultivation horticulture forestry fishery poultry animal husbandry and food processing in industry so all the industries related to agriculture comes under rainbow revolution okay so rainbow revolution is related with is related to agriculture next is second revolution okay second revolution is related to rice proteins and p- pulses uh, in first uh, in um, the first revolution which we have studied that is green revolution green in green revolutions during green revolution only uh, wheat production has been in- increased but uh, what about other food grain production okay in uh, the uh, for uh, for uh, other other food grain production such as rice pulses so uh, second green revolution has has launched for other fo- uh, for to increase other food grain production in india such as rice or protein rich or protein rich pulses so second revolution is this okay now evergreen revolution evergreen revolution is related to sustainable development or food security security and reduction in wastage of food grains vegetables and fruits tricolor revolution okay uh, what is tricolor uh, tricolor revolution so first of all we should know that uh, our prime minister shri narendra modi he uh, termed this tricolor revolution okay tricolor uh, color revolutions uh, has uh, four uh, types of revolutions first one is saffron revolution white is uh, uh, white revolution and uh, second third one is second green revolution and fourth one is blue, blue revolution as we know tricolor uh, the color of our flag is uh, saffron white and green and so uh, as per the color of our uh, flag um, different revolution has been termed such as uh, saffron energy revolution is related to solar energy white revolution is related to care of cattle or cattle welfare and livestock welfare and sec- uh, don't get confused between white revolution which we have al- uh, study or al- uh, learn about learn earlier that is for milk production and here we are talking about tricolor revolution white revolution which comes under tricolor revolution and tricolor revolution has been termed by our uh, our prime minister narendra modi okay so white revolution here is related to cattle welfare and livestock 
uh, and sec uh, and the third one is third uh, color of our third uh, third color is green revolution Se that is second green revolution so protein rich pulse is related to it um, we just studied about second green revolution it is the same okay now blue revolution is related to clean water and the welfare of fishermen okay blue revolution is related to clean water and the welfare of fisher fisherman okay uh, and blue um, blue color here blue color has been taken because uh, blue is the color of ashoka Ch ashoka chakra in our flag and uh, earlier we have studied blue revolution which is for uh, fish production and in this tricolor revolution blue 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 revolution is associated with uh, clean water and the welfare of fishermen so those were the agriculture revolutions in india and each and every uh, revolutions in india which we have discussed today is very important for your nabard exam so just learn them and if you haven't subscribed our channel then please subscribe us now for more updates and join our channel happy study club and don't forget to press the bell icon and also share it with your friends thank you and bye, -bye.